Good morning chess players. Only 28 out of over 33,000 players remain in the competition for this year's Daily Chess Championship. This time I decided to use the built-in opening book and unfortunately didn't do well at it. In many games, the position I got after the start of the game didn't give me a chance to win. Even when playing white, I rarely manage to get even a slight advantage. And the first time I slept through my move. In two games, I didn't manage to make a move in 24 hours and lost them both on time. With both players with whom I lost a point in this way, I was able to win the rematch game. But on the other hand, exceeding uh, the time limit caused that uh, in the remaining games I made moves practically immediately, making the subsequent uh, game worse. So I lost my chance to be promoted to the final. As usual, when playing daily games, many interesting combinations arise. So I have collected them in this video, and the difficulty level of these puzzles varies greatly and I didn't sort them from the easiest to the hardest. Of course, uh, you can share your op opinion in the comments section and inform how many puzzles uh, you have managed to solve. So below, there are seven of the best puzzles from my games. So let's focus on the chessboard. In this puzzle, I can give you a small tip. Don't care about your knights. So, black to move, how to win. Okay, as you can see, now these both knights are protected by each other, but knight c2 is an answer, and both black kings are both black knights are unprotected and white has to decide which one would be captured but uh, every decision is losing for example after queen takes c2 check king h2 and rook f6 now for example if White decide to attack this knight. There is nice checkmate. Okay, this pawn is pinned. Okay, black is winning. And okay, the, so the only way, the only move to protect rook h6 is g5. But now another check after king g3 checkmate. If we if I decide to protect king in other way, there is small sacrifice. Queen takes g5 pawn and checkmate in the next move. That's why man op my opponent decided to capture this uh, knight during the game. I take knight e3, rook f2, if rook e1, check. Another check, we are winning queen, but it's not enough for us. We don't have to take this queen. We can win, we can give, give Simple checkmate, sacrificing rook and queen d8 after king h5. Nice checkmate. It, during the game, as I mentioned, my opponent played <clears throat> rook f2. And here we have another knight sacrifice. So second knight is sacrificed. Sacrificed. 
queen to check and after king h1 rook takes power on g4 and uh, white resigned due to rook h4 and probably checkmated some move in this puzzle last move of my opponent was b4 attacking bishop and here you don't have to find uh, the winning move because there is no winning uh, move here but uh, you have to find the best idea so black to move please find the best move for black okay bishop takes pawn off on f2 is an answer black uh, cannot allow white king to castle and consolidate all pieces because then uh, white position would be much better so there is no time for bishop withdrawal to uh, b6 or d6 it's necessary to take an action so in this position the only move is to take this uh, knight and e4 and here if white de decide to go uh, knight with h4 for example because uh, this knight was attacked black has knight g4 check after king g2 we are winning queen and after king g1 queen f6 is winning because white rook is under attack and okay for example if white played bishop b2 to protect this rook queen f2 checkmate so my opponent find this line and he go with king to g2 and now uh, i made a mistake because i take this knight and after bishop e6 maybe it's equal but i think it's a sli uh, small advantage uh, for for white because uh, uh, they have two aggressive bishops so that's why i shouldn't capture this knight the be much better was knight c6 we are keep the pressure in the center and now if white decide to return this knight to e1 we have silent move uh, knight g4 and uh, there are also such treat like knight e2 with royal fork but also we have to play we, we can play in queen f6 attacking rook and with checkmate uh, maybe not checkmate but uh, winning attack so uh, i missed it and uh, but uh, this this line knight g4 knight g4 and knight g4 was of course the best line in this game in last move black take uh, rook on f1 but during the game black captured this knight which was correct okay but it's not the puzzle the puzzle is in this position so here white to move how to win queen h7 with check is an answer okay the only move king f8 and now final sacrifice nudge g6 and this uh, queen would be captured in some move okay once again the only move check 
king e7, another check after king e6, white is winning. So much better in this position, of course, is to for black is to ex ex exchange uh, the queen for white uh, rook on f7. But here also we have another check. Bishop e8, rook e8, and now queen e6, and uh, white is simply winning because in few moves this pawn, this pawn, and probably also this one would be captured. Here in this puzzle we are bishop more, but let's find the fastest way to win. Okay, queen sacrifice, queen takes rook on c8 is an answer. Of course there are multiple other ways to win, but this one is the fastest and the most spectacular. And after queen takes c8, bishop e5, here my opponent resigned because after f take 5 check and checkmate. This puzzle is not easy because the best move is silent, but okay. White to move, how to win? Bishop a3 is an answer. Another possibility was Bishop takes c5, but here you have to be careful because after rook takes c5, bishop takes c5, okay, there is small trap because after knight b3, rook d1, checkmate. So here, unfortunately, white has to go with king to h1, and I'm not sure. Maybe it's winning, but uh, okay, it's not simple for white. That's why during the game I played bishop a3. I opened capture pawn on e5, and now he captured pawn. On a4, king g6 also doesn't help because before attacking knight and this because this knight is pinned, white, white is winning material, but after rook takes a4, white is winning this knight after knight b7 and for example after king b6 rook c1 and look at this knight and, and on c5 square four pieces are attacking this knight and just only two are protecting. So white is winning. In this position I was playing black and my last move was uh, king, queen a2. Big mistake because I missed one important thing and unfortunately my opponent found this. So white to move, how to win. Okay, knight c6 is an answer, a great move, and the only one which can give significant adventure for white. Black cannot capture, 
because after a few checks white is winning rook that's why during the game i played rook e8 another mistake the best move was probably rook f8 but it's also losing after queen d6 i cannot play queen b2 because after two checks white is black is uh, losing material so black have to go back with queen to f7 but now b5 then b6 b and soon after protecting b7 pawn white pawn will be would be promoted okay, so the game i played rook e1 here we can treat it as another process so you can pause the video for a moment okay queen e8 is winning i resign due to nice checkmate rook f8 king g8 rook g8 checkmate okay this is last puzzle after capturing pawn on a6 black can simply win so black to move how to win okay rook takes bishop on e2 is an answer and here white can simply just resign because after queen e2 queen takes c3 and black has two knights for white and much better position another way is rook a3 queen exchange but uh, black is one knight more that's why during the game queen d3 was played but now this uh, queen is overloaded protecting both knights and rook and rook a3 e3 after queen take f3 queen a6 a6 and black has a two knight and white just only one so black is simply winning these are all the interesting puzzles tactics that i wanted to share with you overall i'm not satisfied with the results i achieved in this round i ended up in the middle of the table losing quite a lot in my ranking nevertheless just keep training and of course i encourage you to play daily chess goodbye